okay hope like uh, if anybody knows or you are new so let me explain this is cloud erp and uh, i guess you guys know what is an erp so erp is nothing but enterprise resource planning so if any big company wants to implement let's say like uh, uh, let's take an indian examples of an indian company like you can take tata group or you you can take reliance group or anything so let's say if reliance is the company which is having different different verticals of their business let's say they have pharma business they have manufacturing they have like uh, kind of an other business like petroleum then retail all these things now if again they have finance they have hr because hr is what they maintain um, all these things so if they go for any erp like reliance can always go and pick a particular erp why they have to go in uh, to any erp is erp is one centralized area where it combines all your Re reliant verticals or all your businesses in one particular place in one particular software they can put everything in one particular place so that for each and every vertical you don't need to look for separate systems or you don't need to see any other options where if you go to workday or oracle or sap you you can see that all the businesses everything all the transactions everything will be in one particular place okay so that is the main purpose of an erp and that is the only uh, intention of your clients that they want to see their business transactions or their business uh, orientation or uh, uh, functionality in one particular system okay so this erp came into picture in 19th itself okay so maybe we are just have we are in our schools or somebody uh, so very early it has come but it was there in us okay till in 90s in 2000s it started slowly coming back to india and then after that then uh, in 2000 after 2005 the erps became famous like first was oracle Uh, so when it became famous next came up with sap X A sap have drove the complete market and then slowly like there were other erp modules like people soft and we have like um, uh, like other things also even microsoft was there microsoft dynamics is again an um, erp and in uh, 2008 or so uh, we all know that people soft is one particular technology where oracle have acquired it and the people who have developed that people soft technology so they came out and then they have started their own particular uh, uh, kind of an version of technology which is nothing but workday okay so just to be very precise like the people who have developed who have uh, uh, kind of an uh, uh, created uh, people soft technology they are the same people who have developed this workday but people soft uh, is completely on a normal erp and workday something like your cloud erp okay and we all know what is cloud what is the main difference between an erp and an um, cloud erp maybe if you take an examples of erp we have oracle uh, e business suite we have sap we have people soft okay so all these are nothing but your uh, microsoft dynamics these are your erps okay standard erps now if at all you come back on to the cloud side so when you talk about cloud we have workday which is an uh, uh, upgradation uh, cloud version of people soft we have oracle fusion which is again an uh, uh, cloud version of your oracle we have sap success factors which is again in cloud version of your sap we have like salesforce okay so this is also in cloud okay so we have different different kind of an uh, uh, cloud uh, technologies coming into the market and this particular software like workday is doing very good comparative to oracle fusion or uh, sap success factors because it has got such a beautiful features and it is very flexible for the users to go work on it and then uh, uh, try to gather things or try to try to extract things whatever the end user or the client is expecting all that kind of an feature just even the look and feel is very good the navigation is very good okay so looking into all those particular features now most of the companies most of the clients are uh, going with workday today okay and then i can proudly say you because i am an uh, workday developer workday consultant workday lead whatever it is I can proudly say that the the main kind of an clients that we have for this work day salesforce is a client salesforce itself is an uh, cloud but again salesforce have implemented work day in order to maintain or manage its own employees and then apple is an uh, uh, work day customer 
and then you can say like uh, cadburys so we eat cadburys and all right dairy milk and mondelez is an uh, work day client okay and then uh, all big clients okay now ibm is into a uh, work day okay ibm have adopted have implemented work day to its own company in order to uh, maintain it employees data in work day okay accenture is doing it so mostly in maybe like couple of months accenture will roll out uh, the work day so in this way very very g general electricals the biggest implementation amazon the biggest implementation for work day so all these big big companies are at most going through work day side okay so maybe that kind of uh, information we have maybe me or suresh have that's the reason suresh or anybody who knows about work day can always help people to understand that work day is going to be the future okay all right so this is some kind of a background about work day and coming back to our particular content okay so we all know like in work day or in any erp you go any cloud erp or normal erp you go we have standard like two kind of an uh, types of erps like not types of erps the erp itself is divided into two different type of verticals one is functional and one is technical okay or in work day we call it as instead of technical we call it as an integration okay so that means you have roles in kind of an uh, work day te technology like you have work day functional consultant work day integration consultant work day reporting consultant work day conversion consultant conversion is also there but if you go to top companies like ibm or deloitte they have kind of a roles but remaining companies they don't have anything like conversion but we will also discuss what is conversion okay so functional integration are more uh, main verticals and reporting is something like uh, again big companies try to go with that but again uh, anybody can do reporting so a functional guy can do reporting a technical like integrations guy can also do reporting so there is no major difference but again if you are working in any projects if client insists that i want a separate reporting guy then the companies uh, will always opt for uh, the reporting consultant and the person who is there in that particular role will only be working on the reports not integrations not functional okay so this is something on the roles that we have in workday 